Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I will show you a little um, video about the PlayStation Portable. Some users um, still own a PSP 1000 with the OE custom firmwares. This PSP and the OE custom firmwares, like 3.0 to OE or something else. I have made um, a little tutorial how to get rid of the OE custom firmwares, but some um, users still have problems with this, so I'm doing a little video. At first, um, go on zlot.net and then search for um, o OE, then check the 3.xx OE to 3.xx M33 updater, just download it, I've already downloaded it, and you also have to download the 1.8 version of the Mi Custom Farmer, but be sure to grab the OFW version so you can actually install it from the 6.60 original firmware. If you need the um, original firmware, go to this URL mediafire.com slash um, OFWS, then you have some of these folders. Those two are hidden, I'm still locked in in my account, so you can see them. Then you can go to PSP, Original Farmers, and search for the 6.60 and download it. I have everything already downloaded. Let's see. 660 PSP. First you um, have to extract all these archives, and then you have to copy the PSP folder of the um, OE custom firmware updater. On the memory stick just say yes and it will merge the files with your previous game folder and stuff. And you can also copy the files of the 6.60 ME custom firmware. Again, just copy um, the PSP folder on the memory stick, say yes, and you're nearly done. Okay, the next part will be on the PSP. So I have. Okay, the next part will be on the PSP. Just um, quit the USB connection, and then there you go an OE custom firmware, which is the 3.40 um, OEA custom firmware, whatever. I think you can use every OE custom firmware. Then you have to go and... Okay, that's a mean starter, this 331, the revision update. Okay, and then you have to launch uh, this, the 3.52 M33 updater. Be sure to have, I think, at least 80% of the, your battery, otherwise some of these installers could refuse to work. They will just say, chart the battery, and yeah. Okay, just press X, then it will accept, and it will install the 3.52 MC3 custom firmware, re revision 1. It takes a bit, not as long as an um, original firmware update, but still it takes a bit. So be sure to, well, wait or skip the video, whatever, since we have to update two more times. Once to the um, 331 and then to the 660.
Okay, it's done. Now we have... Okay. Now we have to press X and the PSP will shut down. Then we will press R and start the PSP. So we will be able to launch the recovery menu. Okay, I think I have to reboot. Okay, R and turning on. Okay, there we go. Configuration. It's pretty important that um, the kernel is at 3.52. Everything else in here can be ignored. Because um, we need the 3.52 kernel to update the revision and then update to the 3.71. Next we will install this revision update. Here is like a fuck ton of text, I think Dark Alex was a bit pissed off at some forum. He wrote some stuff like, don't visit that page, they are criminals, blah blah blah. You can just ignore it and press X. It will install something pretty fast, update successful, press X to shut down the PSP. We will do this. And now, the farmer, um 3. Point 5.2 M33 should be installed. Revision 4. Um, before we installed the revision update, it was revision 1. And since we're now on the latest PSP 1000 only custom firmware, since it's pre 360, we now can install the um, first firmware that were, was for more than the PSP 1000, it was also for the um, 2000. So yeah, at first this, well, short screen comes, it verifies the um, files. If it says um, the 371.pvp is missing, check the uh, media fire page, download the um, 3.71 firmware, and then rename the um, eboot.pvp into the um, 371.pvp so the program can work. I think the 352 updater should be fine, but I'm not sure about the um, 371. So it looks like an original firmware updater, but the previous screen um, can give us confidence that it's um, the custom firmware updater. Even if it would be an original firmware updater, it's no problem since our goal is the 6.6 .6 or original firmware. The latest and newest firmware of Sony, so even if you don't want to hack it and just want to get rid of the OE custom firmware, you can use this tutorial. You would just have to not do the last step. Okay, this also takes a bit of time. Fimer installing is not fast, so yeah. Enjoy it or skip the video, whatever.
also pretty interesting to mention is the normal firmware updater freezes at 84% and then goes to 100. The custom firmware updaters do not do this. Um, you will see it at the 6.60 updater that this um, it's I'm not sure if it's a glitch, but that this will happen. So now we are on the 3.71 M33. We've um, we're on the other side of the restrictions, so we can finally install original farmers. Um, next, we have to connect the PSP or the computer and copy over the 6.60 firmware because it's impossible to install all the files at once because two files need the path slash psp slash game slash update so i will be back at my computer and then back at the PSV, psp okay the next part is pretty simple you um, copy this psp folder which was inside of the OFW660 and inside of this folder which has the structure PSP game update eboot.pvp just copy it go on the memory stick paste it and say yes for everything even overriding files since this one will uh, replace these 3.71 files if this one has copied we can go back to the PSP Okay, this last part is also pretty simple. Um, we've copied the installer for the 6.60 original firmware. Just launch it and install the firmware. It might take one or two minutes. Then you can... Then you're on the original firmware 6.60. No hex, nothing. And then you can... Um, at the patch for the um, ME custom firmware so you are back on a custom firmware if you want to you can also stay on the original firmware and use PSN and stuff um, just saying the ME custom firmware can everything the original firmware can plus more even online playing PSN connection buying stuff from the PSN etc you won't get banned and it's just the best firmware for the PSP. It's like the latest original firmware with add-ons. Okay, this takes two minutes, I think. Maybe one. Um, you can again skip the video. Or if you're interested in it, check for the person counter if it's at... Um, if it's around 84% it will freeze and then instantly go to 100. You will see um, that I'm correct. Okay, um, it's nearly done, so yeah, you can see the um, firmware installation, I think it's a bit slower than the previous installation of like the 352, cause um, the original firmware updater always takes a bit longer. Now um, look for the 84% part, this is a ri an original not modified 6.60, so I'm not shitting you, that's happening with every ori original firmware updater, look at it, 84 and 100, any second.
There we go, okay. If we press X, the PSP will reboot into 6.60 original firmware. At least it should reboot, yes. The time's not correct, but that's not important. There we go, version 6.60. And then the last step would be, you see the 1.5 kernel homebrews are missing because the me does not display them, since they are not necessary anymore. Okay, the last part is the ME original firmware version installer, which works from the original firmware, trust this screen comes, and then the real installer comes, there we go. Custom Farmer 6.60 installer for Hackable PSPs by Neuron. These are the changes between, um, I think, ME version 1 and 1 1.8, so it's not important to check these. Just press X, it will install some files, and some seconds later, it will just reboot the PSP, and everything will be done. The OE custom firmware will be gone. And you will be it's the new shiny ME custom firmware. Let's press select. VSH menu looks good. And uh, there we go. That's how you install or upgrade any OE custom firmware. I think it also works with the 2.71 SE custom firmware. So yeah, if you would prefer to stay on on an original firmware, just leave out the last step with the ME and you're done, otherwise you see ME, I just can recommend it. I'm the that and see you soon.